The system Nibiru continues on its journey closing in for its close encounter with Earth. This past month has seen a rapid increase in powerful earthquakes around our planet, from Indonesia to Alaska, Japan, Costa Rica, the Philippines, Pakistan and Peru. This past few months have seen unprecedented flooding around our planet, with extremes in hot and cold weather. The Earth's wobble is continuing to become more erratic and the angle of our planet has moved. This has been confirmed with the Sun and Moon appearing at different angles than they normally should. The heating up of the planet is still increasing due to the interaction between Nibiru and our Sun as well as all the other planets in our solar system that are going through global warming as we are right now. As many reports of sightings of the second sun appear, it is more important than ever that you put the finishing touches to your survival plan in place. My friends, time is not on our sides. A few days ago, I received what I believe is one of the most convincing sightings of the second sun I've ever seen. This footage originates from Chris Vaughan. Now this guy has been looking for proof of the second sun for quite a considerable time. And in this recording which I've posted on my website endtimes23.com and I've included in this video is what I believe is the proof we have all been seeking for many months and years. This footage gives a stark warning to us all. Get off your asses and prepare for survival. You owe this to your families. This following report originates from examiner.com titled What do Trimsters have to do with unraveling the Planet X cover-up? This was posted on August the 1st 2013. Is the cover-up of Planet X Nibiru in the solar system considered at least by some countries to be a security issue not to be discussed in mainstream media? Perhaps some countries like Russia seem to have a more open attitude about what is occurring with Planet X Nibiru getting some media and television coverage. Security issue or not, the increasing visibility of Planet X Nibiru and other signs in the skies of the approaching pole shift are causing the cover-up to unravel. After all, how can you hide a severe Earth wobble? The sun too far north the moon jumping around the sky or tilting to one side, an ever-increasing number of fireballs whizzing over or striking Earth, and a second sun in the sky. The Zetas of Zeta Talk have predicted that the pole shift will occur at the end of a magnetic trimster. They did not, however, specify which trimster, per the Zetas, Trimster ends occur around the end of December, April or August. Earth floats in a magnetic environment. At the start or end of a trimster, there is a change in the magnetic environment. When this happens, its influence on the Earth's wobble caused by Planet X Nibiru either becomes stronger and more violent or relaxes. Either action influences tectonic plate movements. What is a magnetic trimster? Per the Zetas, a magnetic trimster consists of three four-month periods, including the action effects of Planet X Nibiru on the Earth. 1. January to April, quiescence. 2. May to August, strongest. 3. September to December, diminishing. The Zetas say the summer trimster, May to August, is the strongest of the three. This year's summer trimster will end sometime in August, September. Stress on the Earth has been tremendous, as the uptick in extraordinary environmental phenomena has shown unprecedented weird weather. Massive mystery waves crashing coastlines around the world, rising and inundating oceans, drought followed by deluge and flooding and more. Land cracked open or sank in many areas worldwide. The number and size of earthquakes increased dramatically. Trains derailed, 
explosions occurred at not only refineries and factories but also at individuals' homes. Buildings and bridges collapsed and last but certainly not least, birds, animals and fish die-offs occurring in never before experienced numbers. July alone, massive mysterious waves crashed coastlines around the world. In South America, Brazil, Peru and Chile, in Indonesia and a rare tsunami off the New Jersey coast in the US. And why so many explosions and trail derailments in the current magnetic trimster alone, considering only train derailments in May, June and July, May derailments in US, Mississippi, Illinois, Connecticut and twice in New Mexico, in the US within week period. Also in Belgium and Russia, June in US, Long Island, New York, Mohawk Valley, New York, Wheatland, New York, all near St. Lawrence Seaway, a major stretch zone, Oconto Falls, Wisconsin, DeSota, Illinois, Norwood, Ohio, Zenis Villa, Ohio, Houston, Wilmington, North Carolina, Lee County, Kentucky, Talenja, Alabama, Baltimore County, Maryland, also in Kiwana, Lagos and in Canada, bridge collapses in Calvary derailing train, July in US, Buffalo, New York, near St. Lawrence Seaway area, Bronx, New York, Baltimore, Maryland, Port of Tampa, Florida, Alameda County, Virginia, Pembroke, Texas, Hayes, Kansas, Millsboro, Delaware, Le Grande, Oregon, in Canada, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Border and Quebec, again St. Lawrence Seaway and also in Pakistan, Spain, France and Switzerland. For those who may be unaware of what the St. Lawrence Seaway reference means, the St. Lawrence Seaway on the North American continent is in an area that is being stretched by the powerful pull of Planet X Nibiru on Earth. Per the Zetas, as a result, stress caused by the diagonal pull on the North American continent from the northeast to the southwest will continue to increase until it reaches the point where it causes the St. Lawrence Seaway to rip open. This next report also originates from examiner.com, titled Planet X, knock knock knocking on Earth's front door. Just ask Florida people. This was posted on August the 14th, 2013. Planet X is now in an ideal position to be viewed as a second sun. As Planet X Nibiru closes the gap between itself and Earth, the number of never before experienced major calamities and large earthquakes hammering plate borders increases. People sense that something is terribly wrong, especially when they see the moon out of place, the sun rising or setting too early or too late, and a second sun in the sky with nary a mention by mainstream media. And as the public become more aware of what is happening, it is increasingly difficult for the powers that be to maintain the planet X Nibiru cover up. Bow-faced lies and flimsy excuses just don't cut it anymore. Time for truth. How will people react to an announcement of Planet X Nibiru knocking at Earth's front door? Will those with the resources and the opportunity to make life major changes ahead for thought to be safe zones? Yet bet, in fact, the so-called elite have been resigning their lofty positions and running for the hills like blind mice for quite some time now. Read Strange Elite Exodus, Planet X Cometh, see how they run, photos and elite, Exodus heads for hills, ex-feds, Wall Street execs, cabinet members, media. Others will deny, deny, deny the possibility of a cataclysm, push the frightening thoughts out of their minds and continue with life as usual, while others will make plans for survival. Some will resign themselves to the possibility of cataclysmic changes, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. 
as the North American continent continues to be stretched, loosely connected rock strata quietly disconnects, dropping buildings, cars, animals and people into sinkholes, as recently experienced in Florida. With regard to Florida, the Zetas of Zeta Talk says it has many strikes against it. It will, for the most part, escape the new Madrid fault adjustment, but it will not escape high tides, washing over it as the earth wobble grows increasingly violent and major earth changes begin in earnest. List of some recent, never before experienced calamities. Peculiar events ravage Brazil. Huge main breaks. Crevice opens. Enormous wave. Second sun sightings increase. No hiding it now. Planet X cometh. Rampaging sinkholes menace US and Canada in just two weeks. Coincidence or new normal? So many massive water main breaks. July the 1st to August the 12th. More new normal. You bet. Connect the dots. East Coast tsunami. Milky white waters. Dying dolphins and fish. Uptick in animal, bird, fish die-offs around the world in month. Scientists puzzled. Examples like these are found worldwide. In the United States, Canada, South America, Russia and China. No country is exempt. No, they are not normal. K, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. What will your reaction be to an announcement that Planet X cometh? And finally, as I mentioned earlier, a huge increase in powerful earthquakes has occurred in this past month. On the 1st of September, a 6.5 magnitude earthquake struck Barat in Indonesia. On the 4th of September, a 6.6 magnitude earthquake struck Atka in Alaska. On the 4th of September, again, a 6.5 magnitude earthquake struck Izu Island in the Japan region. On the 5th of September, a 6.0 magnitude earthquake strikes 50 kilometers west of Sardinal in Costa Rica. On the 6th of September, a 6 magnitude earthquake strikes Urigon, Philippines. On the 7th of September, a 6, 6 magnitude earthquake strikes 5 kilometers east-southeast of Kerudad, Telecom, Uman in Guatemala. On the 15th of September, a 6 magnitude earthquake strikes Atka in Alaska. On the 24th of September, a 7 7, a 7 7 magnitude earthquake strikes a warren in Pakistan. On the 25th of September, a 7 magnitude earthquake strikes Aquara in Peru. On the 28th of September, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake strikes a warren in Pakistan and on the 30th of September a 6.7 magnitude earthquake strikes El Esperance Rock New Zealand okay my friends you're all invited to join this channel by subscribing to end times 23 which is a totally free subscription service you're also invited to add me as a friend on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and also, drop me a line on my new blog. I'm sure you'll like it. All this week's news links can be found on my website, endtimes23.com. The link is under this video. Just click on the link and go to the top left-hand corner of the opening page and click on the Cosmic News link. You will find all this week's news links at the top of the page under this week's title video. Well, that's your lot for this week, my friends. I do hope you've enjoyed the show. I'll be back with you in a week's time with another edition of Informing You. So until then, this is your informer signing off. Friends, I'll see you on the flip side.